Hi guys and welcome to 123MyIT's video on how to install Windows 8.1 Enterprise on a Mac. Okay guys, so I've done some previous videos on how to install Windows, but this is a different uh, version of Windows, this is Windows 8.1 Enterprise. The two things that you will need guys is you will need the Windows 8.1 Enterprise uh, ISO, and I'll show you how to get that in a sec, and you will also need a USB drive, and uh, this USB drive needs to be 8 gigabytes or larger. Okay, so what we want to do is download this ISO file and I've already done one video to show you how to do that and I'll put the link on the screen now. However, I'll go ahead and show you where you can find uh, this ISO file anyway. So if we open up a web browser and we go to the 123myit.com website and we go into the downloads menu and scroll down and then we want to scroll down to where it says Windows 8.1 Enterprise Evaluation, click here. Okay, and we can go ahead and sign in uh, to the uh, to this Microsoft website, sign in with a, either a Hotmail account, a Live account or Outlook account, any Microsoft account here, sign in and you'll be able to download it. Okay, so once you've downloaded uh, the ISO file there, if we just go back to the desktop, and we're ready to go. So what we need to do next is to click on the finder and start the boot camp. Boot camp assistant. Alright, and we go down and we just want to hit continue. Okay, we want to create a Windows 7 or later install disk. So this is fine, we're going to create a Windows 8.1 uh, enterprise disk, so this is fine. And we want to install Windows 7 or later version, which is fine. So we're going to hit continue at this stage. It automatically detects the uh, ISO file, so just make sure you put that ISO file on your desktop. Um, if it doesn't pick it up or you have some problems, try moving the ISO file to your documents directory and add it in here, okay? And then just click choose and then go to your documents menu and open the file from there. Uh, it's going to destination disk is this uh, untitled disk here, so that's fine. We're going to hit continue. Hit continue again. It's just saying that it's going to erase anything that's on the USB. You can see it's disappeared there now. And so uh, if you have any data on that USB, just make sure you uh, back it up before you, you go through with this process. Okay, you can see there it's now uh, changed the name of the USB to win install. Okay, so now it's come up and it wants our password. So we just put in our password and go add helper. Okay, and now it wants us to create a partition. So when we install Windows, this is our Mac OS disk. Uh, when we install Windows, it's going to give Windows 20 gig of space and then 100 gig of OS X space. But probably, you probably want a little bit more uh, space than 20 gig. Um, there is a slider here which you can go divide equally or you can either pull it uh, either way. So if you think you're going to use a lot of Windows Enterprise, uh, slide it all the way to the left. If you think you're going to use probably more of OSX, you can slide it all the way to the right. But for now, for this video, we're going to hit divide equally. And we just want to go down and click on install. Okay, and the Mac's just going to restart there. Okay, so now we have the Windows 8 uh, screen come up here. We've got language to install, United States, currency format, it's United States. We're going to hit next. And then it says Windows 8.1 Enterprise Evaluation, 64-bit, uh, and then hit next. All right, we want to accept the terms and agreements and then hit next. Now we want to go down to where it says Drive Partition 4 Boot Camp and we want to press on Format and then click OK. Alright, now that's formatted, we just want to click on Next. Okay, now Windows is going to go ahead and install from the USB here. So that USB that we created has a Windows install on it, the Windows Enterprise install, and it's going to install onto our Mac now. It may take around about 45 minutes, depends on how quick your Mac is. If your Mac is a fairly recent one, then it'll be quite fast. If it's not so recent, then it might take a little bit longer. Okay, so it's installing updates there, and it's finished installing the files, and now it should probably do another restart shortly.
Okay, so it wants us to personalize it now, so it says uh, put in a PC name, so I'm just going to put MB Air for MacBook Air, you can call it whatever you want, and then hit next. Okay, I'm just going to use, you can customize your settings here or you can use express settings, I'm just going to use express settings for this video. Alright, put in username 123myIT and I'm not going to worry about a password at this stage but you can put one in and a password hint and just go finish. Okay, so Boot Camp has come up here now. Uh, this is the drivers for your Mac hardware to work with Windows, so we just want to make sure this is installed. If you hit Next on that, and then accept the terms and agreements and hit Install, and then it will go through and uh, set up the Windows support software for your Mac. And you can see the USB, it's actually reading all this Windows support software that we downloaded earlier to the USB and it's reading all that software now. Okay, and we just want to hit finish on that installer. Okay, it says you must restart your system for the configuration changes to take effect. So we just want to hit yes. Okay guys, and there you have it. So if we have a look down the bottom here, we now have Windows 8.1 Enterprise Evaluation, and this version will allow us to set up a Windows to go USB drive. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it. If this was helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye bye.